Good day, this is my school YouTube channel and right there staying with you is Abiola. So do not forget that in this video lesson, you are going to be joining me to walk through the topic polynomials under the concept of algebra. So right here we are going to look at the different terminologies or concepts that are related with polynomials, right? So we are going to look at the types of polynomials. Are we going to classify polynomials based on the number of terms, degrees or the like? And what are the operations that we can carry out? in polynomials okay so we can look at addition subtraction multiplication and division of course we are going to consider several methods or other methods how we can find an alternative to do this operation so do not go anywhere stay with us and we will be right back Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right there, we are going to begin with the topic polynomials. All right. So, how would you describe the term polynomials? Okay. So, um, basically, this is what I'm going to do. You know, polynomials is just a kind of algebraic expression. Yeah, let me put it that way. Remember algebra. It's a kind of algebraic expression whereby you have variable, at least one. You have constants. Then you have operators or operations. Okay, so one thing that distinguishes uh, polynomials is the fact that the variable, okay, let's say variable, let's say letter x, very popular. Okay, so the variable has an exponent or has a power or index that is positive and is a whole number. All right, so if I have something like this, x raised to the power half, okay, plus one, this is not a polynomial. All right, the index or the power of the variable should be in what? Should be whole number. All right, so if I now have something like this, that is a whole number, but it's negative. Okay, you can see this. So this is not a polynomial. So definitely, you would describe polynomial as an algebraic expression whereby you have variable, okay, whose power or index, right, is a whole number, right, and uh, it is positive. Okay, then you have constant, then your operation. Your constant can be zero, of course. All right, so this is what uh, we used to identify or distinguish a polynomial. So if you have something like this, 3x, okay, uh, y raised to power minus 2. For the sake of this minus, this is gone. All right, so we see that. So uh, let's go to some terminologies that we should get familiar with when we work around polynomials. So at first, we have something we call function. So what is a function? All right, so function is just uh, a basic rule, right, that maps an input to an output. So let me put that in a simple way. So let's say I have something like this. Function of x, right, gives you things. Let me say 2x plus 1. Alright, so look at this. Let's say x is 3. Alright, so you can see that this is the input 3 and this is the output. Alright, so you are looking at a rule. That is the function, right? This rule that matches this input to this output. This is the input, this is the output. Do you see that now? So this is the object to put and this is the image. Alright, so this is independent. Right? So this is dependent. Okay, so look at this. So if x equals to 3, that means the image I'm going to be getting will be 2 into bracket 3 plus 1, right? So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, that is 7. So you can see, this is the input, this is the output. Okay, garbage in, garbage out. All right, so that's basically what a function is all about. And we have different types of function, right? We have linear functions, we have quadratic functions, right? We have a polynomial okay that's also a kind of a um, function we have um, logarithmic uh, functions right where you have log involved you have exponential functions we have trigonometric functions right so those are the types of functions that we can relate with okay so when that comes to function you know, we mention polynomial as a type of function okay so let's look at the basic types of polynomial so i'm going to classify polynomial based on two things Alright, so I can classify polynomial based on the number of terms, number of terms, number of terms. Then I can also classify polynomial based on the power of degree or the number of degree. I think power of degree would do better. The power of the degree or the degree. Okay, or let's just make it like this. 
I'm just trying to avoid uh, complexity as much as possible. So uh, we can classify polynomials based on terms, present, and degrees. Okay, that we can point to. So what do I mean by terms? Classifying polynomial based on terms. You know, remember when we have an algebraic expression, probably I have something like this: x squared plus three x right minus one. All right, how many terms do I have? You have one, two, three. Do you see that now? So this algebraic expression, right? It has three terms. Okay, so this type of polynomial, right, you are going to call it a trinomial. That is three times polynomial. Do we see that now? So, if I have just this term alone, of course, I'll refer to this as a monomial, right? If I have two terms, that is binomial. Do we see that? If I have this, that is trinomial. Then if I have something like, let me say, 4s cubed, right, plus x squared. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is a polynomial, of course, right? This, is, this has four terms and the likes. Do we see that now? Okay, so we can classify uh, polynomials based on the terms, number of terms present, or the degrees. Okay, now I'm going to make this as easy as possible. Degrees are, can be referred to as the index or the power of variables, the highest power. So if you look at this particular expression now, right, the degree here will be what? 3. Because that's the highest power or the highest index of the variable that is present. Okay, so if I don't have this, do you see that now? So, what's the degree here? This is 2. Alright? So, if I don't have this, the degree here is just what? 1. So, you can see? So, based on the number of the highest degree that we have, right, we can also classify polynomial. Alright? So, if you can see this, we just have the degree here is just 1. Right? This is h to the power 1. Can we see that now? So, that means we can have a linear polynomial, right? We can have a quadratic polynomial, which is something like this. Do we see that now? Okay. So, we can have a quartic polynomial. That is the highest degree there. Is probably something like, let me say, 5 raised to the power 4. This is quartic, isn't it? Okay. We can have quintic, whereby the highest variable, the highest power you can find in that expression is probably something like this, 5. Right? If it's something raised to the power 8, this is an optic okay kind of polynomial so we can classify polynomial based on the degree or at the level of degree that can be found okay so as we go further in this video lesson of course we are going to carry out examples we are going to solve examples solve questions right whereby this concept that we've mentioned okay we can better explain them or expose them to us all right so we have operations what are the operations that can be carried out in polynomial so basically i'm going to just going to stick with um four types of operation you know the popular one we have in arithmetics we have addition okay we have subtraction we have multiplication and we are going to consider division okay so of course uh, in the course of this video we are going to pull out some examples, right? Whereby we're going to carry addition of polynomials, subtraction of polynomials, uh, multiplication and division. Now, as much as possible, I'm going to try to introduce uh, alternate, uh, alternatives, okay, regarding methods that you can use to solve operations or carry out operations in polynomials. So this is where the introductory video ends. Of course, we have the full video session. All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below. This is going to get you to the MySchool website. So right there, you get to access the link, all right, and click the subscription button so that you can have access to several examples, more explanations, and relatable examples that you can use to understand the concept of poly. So do not forget to hit that like button. Also click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification for you to get alert immediately we upload the next video content just for you.